Hey, Gemini, uh, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. I'm not going to give a big uh, intro. This will resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, those of you that are new, welcome. Um, hope you enjoy the reading. And let's just go ahead and hop right into it. All right, let's go ahead and hop in the reading. All right. So what is the current energy for love and romance for, Gem or for Gemini? What's a Gemini's energy for love and romance? Gemini is like, listen, okay, I have hell of options. Don't get it twisted. And maybe I'm out partying with friends in the house on Skype <laughs> since the fucking coronavirus, but I'm here. All right. Um, what is Gemini's partner or person of interest energy? What is Gemini's partner or person of interest energy right now moving into... Okay, Ace of Cups. For some of you guys, this is definitely a new situation or a new offer coming in, I feel like, especially with Ace of Cups. How does Gemini feel romantically about this person that's coming in for them? How does Gemini feel about this person that's coming in for them? The Empress. You know, some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo, Taurus. Um, they may have a Cancer Mercury, or they may just be a Cancer in general. Okay. What is the current situation between Gemini and this person? Let's move these over. What is the current situ- God damn it, King of Cups. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Leo. The King of Cups to me is, um, anytime like, I pull cards with, uh, Vic- on the coronavirus, I always get the King of Cups for the actual virus itself. So I do want to say that the current situation possibly has to do with the coronavirus, or it can be that somebody is being extremely loving and caring, but we will clarify that. And what's the best potential outcome for Gemini and their person of interest romantically? Best potential outcome for Gemini and their person of interest romantically. You know, the lovers, yes, come through. Okay. So, Gemini, let's talk. And I'm saying this because we have the seven of wands at the bottom, star at the top. Some of you may have recently um, kicked off a, or, you know, kick, kicked a Leo off for whatever reason. Or some of you guys are um, being very protective, I feel like, of your space. And I feel like there's a transformation, like you are getting to the point where you, um, especially with the star here, it, it, it's, it's very unpredictable, but I feel like you're taking on a different type of energy this month, okay? I also want to point out the fact that this is all cups or major arcana, this is a very emotionally fulfilling month for you. But I mean, and maybe this is a level of self-love. Or it can be a couple of things, right? It can be somebody new coming in that makes you feel really good. Or it can just be that there's a lot of emotions. However, there's not a lot of thought right now. It's like you're tied up in your heart. Um, there's also no action here, which is interesting. But it makes sense because of old, you know, COVID-19 over here. Um, it, it could be a multitude of things. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into it. This is energy, three of cups. Okay, why is this energy for Gemini? Ten of wands. Okay, I feel like a lot of um, Geminis possibly uh, dealing with a Sag, or you could have left a Sag go. But I feel like for us, the reason that we have the three of cups here is because I, I definitely feel like we let go of something. 100%. I feel like something was definitely let go of that was holding us back. And I think... You know, I think for us, it's like this person possibly was putting us in a, in a position where it's like they didn't want to play by the rules. I don't know why I keep hearing that. It's like, it was also too, I feel like this person was not as, um, like Gemini's tend to be highly optimistic, right? I feel like for whatever reason... Um, somebody was being very Debbie Downer. Now, I am going to say this because I know how the fuck Geminis are. This could be multiple people that you're going out with, right? 
um, or talking to or anything like that. And it's like letting go the ones that you just don't find interesting or that are, that are just too negative, right? It's also too a level of waiting. This can be you guys going inside. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. Three of Wands is Aries. Um, what is Gemini waiting for here? What is Gemini waiting for with the Three of Wands? The Knight of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini. Some of you may be dealing with another Gemini. I feel like you're waiting for an offer from somebody. This Knight of Cups. So the energy around this month is like having a good time, being happy, communicating to people that you care about. Hey, I love you. I'm thinking about you. Um, it's also very personal to you. And I feel like you have a lot of memories going on right now. Some of you may be having dreams. And for you, it's, I don't know, I look at the Three of Cups as very, like, go with the flow, but I also look at this as multiple people. And I feel like you're waiting for that one offer. There's a level of waiting. Okay. Why is the Ace of Cups their person of interest energy? Why? Eight of Wands, okay. There's a level of communication here that's um, Sag and Mercury. And it's, I, I feel like this person is, is communicating with you with being very optimistic. They may be saying something like, oh my God, I can't wait to see you. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's also, I feel like this person is asking questions. They want to get to know you. They want to know more about you. That's also coming in here for their energy. It's like they're thirsty to know about you. Not thirst in a bad way, but it's almost like, they want to absorb it. They want to take it in so that they know, you know, what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I do feel like this person is at times impatient. Or they're not. Like this is, let me, let me take that back. This person is somebody who is not impatient. They're not somebody who's going to beat around the bush. This is somebody um, being a very straight shooter. They're telling you exactly what you want. And it may be with a Leo or another Gemini. What's being communicated here? The moon. Pisces or Cancer. The unknown. They, these together it's weird though and i'm gonna tell you why so anytime like i get the moon um or the high priestess like something i'm asking if they don't want to tell me something they'll give me those right and i asked again i said what do you want me to know about the moon and the eight of wands and this is what came up the ace of swords there's going to be a level of communication um, possibly dealing with a Leo, Taurus, or Cancer. They may have that in their chart, though. They may have heavy dominance of that. Or this is just them saying to you, like, we're not going to tell you what, what is going to be said. Because it's a surprise. But I feel like you already know it. So consciously, I feel like you know who this new person is for a lot of you guys. Possibly a Libra coming in. Um, why? What? Why? Can you give me just one more card? I, let me, I'll, I'll change it. One more card on this person's energy romantically. Judgment with the Six of Wands. Okay, this can be somebody coming back from uh, the dead, like a relationship that you buried. Okay. This also um, is somebody that is newly single. Okay, Six of Wands. There's Leo, Jupiter in Leo. This person is very confident. Yeah. 
They may have children possibly. They may be in entertainment. Like there's something that has to do with that. This person is, is, um, takes very calculated risks, but I do feel like it may be somebody from a past life or somebody that you haven't seen in a long time or haven't heard from a long time. I feel like this person is going to step up and say something with the six of wands. How would Gemini feel about this? How would Gemini feel about this? The magician. This may be somebody too, I'm going to keep it 100, that you've been highly fixated on. Let me say not you. We, as Gemini, we have the hangman, Pisces or Aquarius, with the seven of cups, Scorpio, Venus. We've been very fixated on this person. Okay? Hella fixated right? Scorpio is a sign that hella fixates, but guess what? So do we magicians here. But this is something that I feel like we've manifested, something that we've actually waited patiently for to come around. And I think that's awesome. All right. So that's your partner's energy. How you feel about them is the empress. Why? Why does Gemini feel like this? Why does Gemini... Just so you guys know, um, Queen of Wands with the Chariot are coming up. Okay. I feel like it's because this person takes a level of action. I feel like the Queen of Wands is your person. Um, I feel like they're very attractive. This is somebody that has a certain poise to them. That's how you feel and that they want to take action. They want to make it right and they want to do the right thing. But it's just a waiting game. Seven of Pentacles. What do you want? What else do you want me to relay about how Gemini will feel about how it feels about this person of interest romantically? They may be at a distance from you, from a different culture, possibly. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Pisces. I feel like for you, this is, this is kind of like a wish come true. Like this is something that you feel very good about. It's like you've taken a chance and it may even be you that, that has extended the offer to try to start, you know, start things up with them. But for whatever reason, how you feel about this person is very, very good. I feel like this person makes you feel like the empress. And I feel like there's a level of forward movement. You feel like this person takes action. Why? What are they taking action towards when it comes to Gemini? The Nine of Pentacles. It's weird though, but like sometimes this is, that's definitely Virgo in, um, Venus and Virgo. But I feel like this person is finally single, maybe. I also feel like whatever was happening prior with this person, like either something that was done dirty or there was something, like I feel like for you, Gemini, it's like this person is finally um, making forward movement to do the right thing. Am I right? King of Pentacles. To make you a very solid offer. I think that's why for you, it's like, this is the perfect, perfect person. This is what I've been asking for. King of Pentacles, Taurus or Leo. Of course, it can be Capricorn and Virgo as well. But that's definitely what I'm getting. Now there's a lot of solid energy for how you feel about this person. Uh, like all of a sudden, like it's pentacles now, right? It's movement. It's, it's something extremely solid. Current situation is the king of cups. Why? Why is the king of cups the current situation for Gemini? The tower. Okay. Like I said, I, I feel like this is the coronavirus. Um, and that's what I asked. Like why tower? I just think that things right now for you, 
And look, you're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. And, and that doesn't necessarily have to be a feminine or a masculine thing. So for the dudes that, that are watching this, um, this person is coming in more feminine. Like they have more of a feminine energy. Or the situation is like feminine. You know, I don't know how else to explain it. Capricorn here. Tower, Scorpio. I feel like because of the situation that that's happened, one, I feel like it's, it's, it's obviously completely shaken everything up, right? That's the first thing. It's made things uncomfortable for a lot of people. But I feel like right now the situation is the pandemic, right? And I feel like we're just waiting for everything to smooth out. What else do you want me to tell them about the situation? with their pursuit of interest romantically the fool pisces aquarius energy how would um one more card with the ace of wands okay i feel like um I feel like a couple of things for the situation what they want you to take away from it though is like soon everything i think maybe not soon but it whatever the situation is it's like with this person you're very open to accept it and you may be more open to accept the situation with them because of what's going on because it's putting things in perspective into physical perspective so this may be something that you're willing to explore How would Gemini feel about that? How would Gemini feel about that? So two different energies. Ten of swords, two of wands. I'm going to ask again. How, how does Gemini feel about the current situation? How does Gemini feel about the current situation? Four of wands. Okay, that makes sense to me. There is Aries, Venus, and Aries. Um, I think for you, you'd want to act quickly. Okay. That's, that's the first thing. Um, it, it's very impulsive, I feel like, this energy. And I feel like for you, it, it, it's level of expression of emotions. It's also some type of stability. Sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, but I think that you take a very fun approach to this. Like, like you're handling business at home, but then outside of the house, it's a very free energy and you feel good. How does their partner feel about this? How does your how, how does Gemini's person of interest feel about the current situation? The world. So any of the fixed signs, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio, also heavy Capricorn energy. I feel like this person is there's a level of communication going back and forth, especially with the world. It's also some type of cycle that's ending. How do, how do they feel about the current situation with Gemini and them? How do they feel about this? Their personal interest. The King of Wands. <laughs> Very focused on what they want. Hierophant with the Page of Cups at the bottom. They would do the right thing. But I feel like for them, it's like they're still really, really surprised. This can be somebody you work with. There's a confession here. They confess something. There's the Sun, Three of Pentacles. Like they want to make it work. You make them happy. I mean, there's there's something very heavy here in a positive way that they want to talk about. And I feel like for you, especially with it being the world. Where did that go? There's something very successful about their communication. 
that's what I'm getting. Okay. For your outcome, you have the lovers. There we are. I'm also going to pull one more card here from the angel romance deck. Okay. Um, what's the best potential outcome for, hello, let me get it back. You know, true love. Okay. What's the best potential outcome for Gemini and their person of interest romantically? Best potential outcome for Gemini and their person of interest romantically. Heart to heart conversations. Like I said here, hello and romantic feelings. Okay. Anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.